Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Charge Green Ranger. Dino Charge is a season that I have not seen the whole way through yet because Netflix took it off before I could actually watch the whole thing, uh, but I definitely loved what I saw. And uh, speaking about the figure itself, uh, this was a buck that I didn't particularly care for when it was uh, Dino Charge Red way at the beginning of the line. Like, it, it, it took a bit to get used to, but it's it's totally grown on me, even, even retroactively with Dino Charge Red. So, uh, let's get into this review. Let's do this. When it comes to aesthetics, we are getting everything that we got with the other uh, Dino Charge Rangers so far, uh, in terms of sculpt, naturally. Uh, all the differences really come down to paint, uh, all, and then the different helmet, naturally. Um, but beyond that, you know, much the same, uh, just in green. And I really like the shade of green, so I'm gonna say that that's pretty cool. I don't know if it exactly matches the show. Uh, like, I, I literally just looked at it and, you know, it's maybe not an exact match, but I mean, it's pleasant, so I have no complaints there. <laughs> And, uh, you know, so obviously you get the, the little raptor here on the upper left chest. Um, well, other, other differences being that the, I think the only one we've gotten the, uh, the back of the uh, gloves painted on is Dino Charge Red, unfortunately. Uh, but everything else is there. The belt for Dino Charge Green actually matches Dino Charge Red uh, with the, the yellow border, the silver dinosaur, and the, the black background where, as you can kind of make out, on Dino Charge Black, we just got the yellow trim, the black dinosaur, and the silver background, so kind of weird. But, is what it is. Uh, everything else looks good. Um, paint on mine is super crisp, and I'm super happy about that. I haven't seen too many people complain about the paint on Dino Charge Green, so there's that. Um, so definitely one of the winners so far in the Lightning Collection. Uh, so that's aesthetics. When it comes to accessories, we get pretty much everything we would accept, uh, expect at this point with a Lightning Collection figure, and that starts off with the civilian head, and we get an absolutely fantastic likeness of uh, Riley, aka actor Michael Tabor. And they, I swear, every wave they just keep getting better and better with the civilian heads. I mean, I, I personally don't use them, but it's awesome that the actors are getting this respect and kind of being able to see themselves in plastic in just such a realistic form. So that's great. Uh, we get our effects piece which here is just a green lightning effect, which uh, goes over the saber um, as such. So, as you can see, pretty cool. Uh, and then we get the saber itself. Uh, so, looks like yellow plastic with uh, painted black and silver. Uh, with really nice silver. Uh, and again, these haven't really been totally consistent because I have the saber that came with black here. And uh, you can see there's more silver on that one. Um, so really kind of weird choices, but they are what they are. Um, so in inconsistencies, which is definitely a complaint that people have with this line. Uh, speaking of that, we get to the Morpher slash gu uh, gun blaster piece. And here it is yellow plastic with all the black painted in and uh, with black. Uh, this, he's, this is the one that I have on hand. Uh, it is pa black plastic painted yellow and somehow just you get more of the details with everything being painted um, yellow. So it's just that I don't know if it's deeper or maybe this mold is kind of getting some wear now that we've, we've seen it three other times. So could be either or, uh, but still, I mean, definitely looks good from a distance. Uh, and then we get into finally hands. So right out of the box, we get two gripping hands uh, and different hands at that. So. We have this one, which is kind of semi-trigger finger, not really. And then we have the more martial arts style gripping hand that we got two of with uh, Dino Charge Red. So, and once again, the backs of gloves are not painted silver, so something one would have to do themselves. And once the whole team comes out, I will definitely be going back and doing that with all of them. Uh, then we get a right fist. And lastly, a left pointing hand, kind of martial artsy too, because it's not completely folded, the fingers are completely folded in, and that's accessories. For articulation, we are getting, as you would expect, exactly what we got with the other Dino Charge Rangers, but uh, we will break that down right now. So, head is on the ball hinge, so we can get some really, really nice up, just as good down, 
we're not getting any tilt because of how tight that ball joint is, uh, but you can go all the way around if you want. Then we come down to the shoulder and we have our butterfly joints, which are very, very generous and uh, that's just awesome. Uh, then we get hinge coming up to just past, uh, like slightly, nah, no, you get, you're getting your T-pose out of it. Then we have our bicep swivel. We get double jointed elbows. We have our swivel and hinge on the wrists. No vertical hinges, all horizontal. Uh, then we get our ball joint in the diaphragm. We get a crunch below that. So that's bringing us that far forward. Insane back. <laughs> uh, then we come to the hips and get pretty decent splits out of this out of this buck. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then we get our thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and gorgeous point. Some really, really nice forward and the ever generous pivot. And that's articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with the rest of what we have for Dino Charge and Lightning Collection, as well as some villains with some other Hasbro stuff, with some imports, with some monsters. Finally, with an Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on Dino Charge Green Ranger is that if you were happy with the other Dino Charge Rangers that were released and you are a fan of Dino Charge, then you are going to be just as happy with this figure. So absolutely pick that up. If you are collecting Lightning Collection, definitely pick it up. Uh, if you just collect a lot of Sentai stuff, this is for you. Um, so right now it is currently uh, on pre-order through most places. GameStop seems to be getting it in and out of stock, which is how I got it earlier than I thought I would because most of my stuff is pre-ordered through Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, so you can look there. I'll have links in the description to various online retailers, including Big Bad Toy Store and GameStop, so you can pick up yours. Um, so that being said, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this both informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. And uh, beyond that, if you want to help the channel in other ways, I will have ways to do, or links to ways to do that in the description below as well. So ultra thanks again to you for watching and I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.